Hello there, I'm Alger Hill. Welcome back to some E4 playing Romania in Third Odyssey. I've hurt my wrist. I got a little wristband thing here, but it's not going to stop me from playing a little bit of E4. The the Library of Alexandria in New Alexandria is underway, and I think it's almost done actually, which is going to be great. We also have some conversions we can do, so I'm going to grab that right now. The Age of Discovery is ending, but it's okay. I don't actually get any benefits from Age of Discovery. Oh. The, ooh, actually saying that, Jura are in a trouble confederation. Oh my god, they're tech six. They've been catching up with my tech. When did you get such a great mustache? I've been growing it for two years now. I've been trimming it now and again, but thank you for the question, Fleming. I've been trimming it now and again, but I've, been, I've decided in the last uh, six or seven months that instead of trimming it, I want to push it to the sides. Look how far up it goes. I push it all the way up. All the way up there. That's pretty cool. I like it. I think I look a little silly, but my wife likes it, so that's all that matters, I think. I'm actually starting to make cash, which is insane. Um, we still, of course, have 25 loans, and I'd like to try and fix that situation. The Varangian Order is an interesting little vassal. And Florius the Austrian is raiding with a lovely party. Hello, viewers from Florius. How are you, my friend? Welcome to the stream. I am Aldra Hill. I am playing some E4 Third Odyssey. I took a hiatus off streaming a while back, and now I'm properly back now that I've moved up to Scotland, and I'm here streaming three times a week, E4 and Paradox games in general. Hope you had a good stream, Florius. It's 15.05 right now, and we're kind of expanding all on the coast in this wonderful mod called Third Odyssey, and I'm hoping the, third, the Library of Alexandria will be done literally just now. Cool, I didn't get any event. That's a bit lame. I was kind of hoping something would happen, but I do get institution spread for everybody, and 10% advisor cost. And if we go towards where the Renaissance is, it's now 0 0.1, 0 0.33. That's actually super good. That's actually really nice. So then we can do a new age, which has been clear for some time. We're stagnating. Our realm has become complacent. Sure, we have dominance of the local barbarii. Surely they claim witness in the old empire only by introducing reforms, encouraging new philosophers can be fought at the looming specter of slow death. I'm going to definitely have to name something after Glorious Florius. Ooh. Patent pending. Thank you for the follow, Paul the Human. Welcome to the stream. Let's do it. This gets me a new tech group of Modern Hellenic, which is very nice. Which changes my infantry units a little bit. Very slightly. Very slightly. How are you, Florius? What's been going on, bud? Alright. That obviously does cost me 10 legitimacy, which is a bit annoying. But it should, should, give me enough. Okay, unfortunately has not yet given me enough in, of increase. Oh my god. Ooh, what? Modernizing plus 1.6? Oh my god. Okay, thank god I didn't force that. Look, I'm going to have renaissance in like three seconds. Let's go. Yeah, dude, I'm good. I'm great. I, I bought a house with my wife. We moved to Perthshire, and we're just having a great time. Having a lovely little, little time, honestly. Uh, next I want to try and do is get down to my loans. I have to own these provinces here. Hmm, okay. Oh, that would give me gold. I need that so desperately. I also need a lot more buildings here. And I have to have five provinces with a dock or have arsenal felicia okay oh gian the whiz thank you so much for the follow buddy and welcome to the stream i three stream three times a week ideally monday wednesday friday but today got a little thrown off i guess they got a little thrown off so i have to have arsenal of alicia or a dock or a dry dock problem of course is that that is a lot of money i don't have a lot of money i'm colonizing a lot and I'm also losing a lot of money from other things. We're catching up with our technology, which is very good. Really need to hurry up to get to seven. Oh, it's off. Off, but it was a good point. That's not going to lower their loyalty equilibrium, is it? Oh, just a little bit. That's okay. Come on now. So this should spread it. I just need to wait a couple years now. I think I'm just going to try and repay every loan I can now. Because I have five ducats. Oh my god. My corruption is actually going down really nicely, which is very, very helpful. 
And I think this will go quite well. Oh, this is going to be good. If you haven't, I'd highly recommend everyone who came over from Glorious Florius to stream. I renamed you, sorry, bud. Uh, to check out this mod, the third Odyssey, if you haven't played it. Because apparently it's one of the older mods in E4, and I've literally never played it before. I am enjoying it so much. Two missionaries. Nice. I'm really liking it. It's super fun. Uh, so I need to be able to get the gold. I need to have standardized currency, have no corruption, no loans, and own Misiak, Tutelo, or one of the provinces in Alexander's seat area. Oh, man. I gotta invade these nerds, don't I? That's problematic. I have to literally invade them. So good. And I would get inflation reduction. <laughs> that would actually fix my inflation so bad. I also need to have Merchant Guild's influence lower than 30%. Or lower than 50. What is the Merchant Guild? Okay, their influence is actually very low. Seize demand alt. No, piss off. Oh, that actually increased their loyalty though, but not to 50. Oh, okay, so I could actually do that. If I pass this agenda, that would be sufficient to fin finish that uh, bottom category. So then I just need to get rid of all of my loans and have no corruption. Okay, that's going to take several years. Let's just keep fixing our country for a little bit. I'm going to not convert this one just yet. That takes way too long. A 510 coming up, and that is problematic. Ooh, Jesus. What is my prestige doing? I'm gonna have to fight something, I think. You've only got like 8k strength. I don't know these people yet. Tell you, what's my colonial range? Oh, it's still so low. I have a colonial range of zero. Fair enough. Yeah, I can't do anything. But at least, at least I'm going to be gathering, getting this from their colonial expansion as well, which is really helpful. Okay, that's fine. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. You've been watching me from a florist through. Oh, no, it was a raid, actually, wasn't it? So that's fine. Yeah, once you've gone to my channel, that's absolutely fine. You see me regardless. All right. We can do it. All we got to do is kind of just chill out a little bit and just wait quietly. There's not a lot I can really do just yet because the main thing that I need is to be able to invade this area, just like over here. I can't do that because I am too far in debt. Oh, I'm, I'm paused. I'm literally just staring at a paused menu. Going, oh, this is fine. Heretia power struggle. The Heretia estate gains 10 influence. Or support the younger candidate and lose 10 influence. I'm going to do... No, I, I literally can't do that. That would mess me up so bad. It's very frustrating. But unfortunately, I'd have 20k. So I need to do it to Yura. Am I improving relations with them? Why am I... Ah, oh, because that's the thing. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, there's never going to be any way I'm going to be able to vassalize them. I'm gonna have to... Oh! What? A band of some most loyal and experienced for engine words request permission to return to their homeland. They feel they have earned their keep. We could try to sweeten the deal. No! No, 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 no. Piss off. Prestige and Vinland's opinion. They're still needed here. We'll offer them prestigious positions as military instructor. I've had this already. It'd be a 50% cheaper level 3 advisor. I can't even afford a level 3 advisor, so no thanks. I will... I'll let them go. Go away. Just just, just leave, me, leave me be. My corruption is going down. In four, every four years it goes down by one, so in 12 years time my corruption will be back to zero. Which is nice. 
Would that I could get just a little bit stronger. However, uh, Renaissance is spreading absolutely everywhere. Oh man, that's great. Yes, perfect. 56, 60. Just gotta wait another year and I will be able to do this. We also do have another great project of the Grand Cothan. Cothan? I pronounce that. Education for the poor, innovativeness. That's fine. And we can also send out the heralds. I'm gonna send it to these guys. Because I'd really like to be able to have that extra little bit of conversions. Any Europeans power not be hey scary characters, welcome to the stream. So far, no, because I did distract them and make them go south. So they are not here yet. Which is really fun, I must say. We are ex still expanding nicely. And Renaissance is underway. Oh yeah. Come on. I'm starting to think... Well, the next thing I have to do is to try and build these buildings, but I can't... I can't afford it. I just can't. There are five docks, and then that would give me colonial range and global settler increase. And this one is have every province with a fort. And this would give me claims on everybody. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't have to have colonial... No, so there's still nothing like that. Come on. Give me the good stuff. Hurry up now. Come on. 8.09 and 09. That's fine. All right. We'll just sit chilling for a little bit then. Paying off the loans whenever we can because the five ducat interest is actually destroying me. And the ridiculous amount of inflation I have is killing me as well. I'm no longer trading in Norse mead, sadly. There's no point paying this. I might as well just hold on to it a little bit. Come on now. You can do this, guys. And Vinland is nice and weak, which is good. I just need to keep expanding and get another colony here and there and everywhere. I can't get this, can I? Because I have... To oh, no, I just need to colonize. I thought it was relations. Ugh, what am I trying to do that for, then? I don't want alliance. Leave me alone. Gross. Um, so I need to have colonized a province within the Appalachian area. I have until 1525. Okay, so I have to stop here and then go towards the Appalachians. It's a bit annoying. So it's one of these two. I'm going to go for the six dev one. Call me crazy. I like the map Appalachians there. Come on. It's costing me a literal ducat. You know what? I'll pay for it. Oh, yes. Give me that workshop. Workshop, farm estate, and ramparts. And renaissance thought, please. Naval ambition, combat width, colonial range 115. Oh, that's good. That dog could bankrupt me. All right, that is great. So the other thing now is I have another idea group. I feel like it... Oh, I can't take... Oh, I can't take expansion, can I? Oh, that's so distressing. Of course, I'm not allowed expansion. Okay. Well, we could go influence ideas. And try to really ramp up our vassals. That could be good. Trade is another possibility for just maintaining more trade value. But that's not really going to be relevant until later in the game. And Diplo is not really something I care about right now. Espionage ideas is really weird because it kind of actually is helpful. Because of the, and the AE impact later, siege ability. It's just one of those strangely versatile things. I don't hate it, honestly. Plus, you get yearly corruption. I'm, I'm not going to get it, but it's still pretty cool. 
Or I could just flat out go military idea and just start raining hell down on my enemies. I don't know. What did you guys think? I'm tempted between the potentiality of offense, the standard offense, defense, quality kind of thing. I mean, having settler heritage is really killing my manpower, but I don't think I'm ever going to have to worry about manpower. I feel like offensive might be the, the better idea. Prestige land battles, siege ability. Advent idea groups are blocked because I don't have the mod that disables... I forgot to enable it. There's a mod that disables um, idea group tracking. Hmm. Alright. I've had a thought. I think I'm gonna go influence. So while I could go quality, because it's the most versatile idea group for me being a naval power eventually, it's you get ship ideas and it's good policies. Trade is something I will need eventually for the purpose of late and mid late game eco, but I think I'm gonna go influence and start doing force vassalization. Plus which I also will start to get more money from my vassals, which is very nice. Liberty desire and subject is always great. Reduction of dip annex cost is great. Dip reputation is good too. And force limits. Plus unjustified demand is pretty tight. I'm going to go influence ideas here. Because I just... Okay. The... Mm. Okay. Second group is going to be influence, which is what I'm going now. My third will be expansion. My fourth will be quality. My fifth will be trade. Done. Sonolo, what's up? Welcome back to the stream, my friend. How are you? Excellent stuff. Right, let's start focusing on uh, Diplo points. Let's get a trade efficiency, lads. Oh boy. Here we go. So, we're going to need to just uh, utterly destroy everybody. And keep going. I took a long time to decide that, but I'm okay with it. I also really do need to kill this kid. You know what, let's give consort military command. Wait, I can make my consort a commander? Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. I'm not going to, but that's very cool. Alright, straight away, income from vassals. Very good. Also being able to get up towards that next bit of influence would be good. Yes, indeed, you have made me a little bit more convinced with um, with native policies. I've not changed it here, but I, I agree with you somewhat more now. Aphrodite, blessed are those who love her. Missionary strength. Ooh, and chance of new air. Cool, I'm not going to change over, but... I think it's a bit too late now. Because I don't actually have... I do have Ancestral Land Recognition. It costs Stab, exactly. Doggo McPargo, thank you for that follow and welcome to the stream. Lovely to have you. What a brilliant name, I love it. Alright, we're doing good here. We sort of just need to keep going. Never stop. Okay, so that just starts the construction. That's weird. Yeah, I love you. And I love you. And I love you, random citizen. Uh, construct a hippodrome. We come up with the ingenious idea. Okay. To construct a solid track with, sol with stone tribunes to hold chariot races. Why is it so great? Because simulate the breeding of horses. Find strong horses that are fast and can pull weight. And even better, the people simply love it. I must admit, it makes me a giggle a bit after feeling bad for the drivers, of course. What? Okay. The Sin Maria is a person taking an interest in the project and has already drafted up a construction plan. Uh, lose 15 military power. Okay. And noble families feud. Gain 6 regiments siding up. Uh, where, will they, where will they go? In Odessus. The hell is Odessus? That's fine. It's just the Hippodrome. Build me things. Most surprising indeed. I know it's supposed. It's so rich and deep. I love it. Let's just kill these guys real quick. Uh, loop. Me that claim. 
Because I need these, and then I'll vassalize them, I think. Yeah, it does not stop there. It is so deep. I love it so far. Come on, bring it, nerd. Alright, there we go. And there's the Age of Reformation. We'll take a look at the Age of Reformation in the next episode. Do be sure to leave me a like and a comment in the video. Let me like this series so far, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.